people, this is Sharpena here. Welcome you guys to episode number 10 of the Pokemon Pearl Randomizer Wetlock. If you guys are excited for today's episode, and of course you're a proud member of the Sharp Squad, make sure you hit like button down below for us, because as always, your support is greatly appreciated. In the last episode, you guys, we made our way through the eternal forest. Unfortunately, we had one encounter, but the bitch Cheryl that we tagged along with fucked us over. Ah! I mean, it was a swallow, but still, an encounter is an encounter. Ah! But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and head to Eternal City. You know, go ahead, go ahead. But first, we got ourselves a pin to pull. So let's go ahead and see. How are we going to go today? So let's go ahead and put this on our heads. There we go. Get all the towels in place. Get it all ready to go over here. I mean, we freaking got wet last episode without even having to do anything. So, I mean, <laughs> no sex jokes there. So, let's go ahead and do the whole rotation, rotation, rotation. Stop. All right, let's see this one at the front. Let's see how we go with this one. Oh no, here it comes. Um, if you're going to do this properly, if you're going to do this properly... Ah, oh, there we go. Is that it? Really? No, there's more coming. Come on. you got to work it. If you're going to do this right, we're going to do this right. Come on. Ah, uh, there we go. If we're going to do this wet head, we're going to do it right. Oh my god, there we go, there we go. Oh my gosh. We got it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You done yet? No, it's still fucking go. <laughs> I'm so wet. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay. Safe to say we got the wet head. Oh. Good God. There's only up to two pins as well, so that's a freaking, that's a worst for us. Get it only under one pin, or, or on two pins. Alright, let's go ahead and get this thing reloaded, because we're going to have to do this again. Go ahead and add water to the wet head here, let's go. Up oh, and freaking... Ah, once again, I overfilled it. Joy. Gotta love when that happens. We'll put the lid back on here. I'm so sorry, my shirt's all fucking wet. Ah, Alright, well, that's the wet head already got started, so off to a terrific start as it is. There we go. Luckily, got a heater right here to keep me nice and dry. Alright, now that's all sorted, let's go ahead and have a look at our team that we have for this episode over here today. We've got ourselves Fairy Cake the Clefairy, Palm Spring the Quadilly, England the Nidorina, Electrox the Chin Chow, Cursed our style of Dusk Girl, and Tayo. The Soul Rock. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this episode started. Now, I do believe over here, I didn't go over this side. Oh, there's an item here. What is this item? Soft Sand. That's good if we can get ourselves a ground type. That's awesome, if we can. Um, but, you know. Now we're bumping into freaking. Now yeah, I'm just going to speed this up here. I just want to get out of this stupid goddamn cave. Thank you very much. <laughs> We have a cut section up there, but we'll have to go ahead and do that um, after we get the... Um... Now, I do believe this is all the same area, I'm pretty sure. So we've actually got to go ahead and... Um... Let's see what's up here. So there's... Wait, wait, wait. We found an Everstone. 
That sucks. I'm not trying to breed or anything. Uh, but we do have these berries over here. They're all orange berries. Um, now, I do believe we are going to be in eternity. Now, I don't know. I don't know if we are ready for the gym leader quite yet. But I figured while we're here, we may as well go ahead and get some encounters because um, the Pokemon trainers are going to be a lot more difficult in this episode or for the, the second gym and all that. Um, so, alright, so we got all those berries. Great. I'm going to go ahead and get an encounter now. I do believe this is the same area as before. Oh, I would have loved a Monferno. Monferno would have been awesome. I'm pretty sure this is the same area as the Taylor, about 205. So I'm going to go ahead and run away from this. I can't escape. Okay. Run away. Thank you. I'm pretty sure I can check the map anyways just to verify. Look at that. It's done dust off. Alright, run away. Thank you. Alright, so let's go ahead and check the map here. I'm pretty sure it is the same area. Key items town map. Uh, 205. And then just above Eternal Forest. 205 and 205. Uh, if I just get it on me, thank you. There we go. So it's all it's all 205, so basically, um, it doesn't really matter. They're all the same, and yeah. But we'll go ahead and get this item down here. What's this item over here? It's a cherry berry. Can I stop getting berries as items, okay? There's berry bushes for that. I don't need that bullshit, okay? I don't need that bullshit. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and heal up here inside the Pokemon Center. Um, just because of those battles. I mean, I am so <laughs> Oh, from that wet head. As soon as I felt it, I was like, yeah, this is, this is it. This is it. This is when it's going to... It's about to go down. But we do have ourselves an opportunity to go ahead and get some encounters, which I, for one, I, for one, would love to get an encounter. I would love to get an encounter. So, we're going to go ahead and hand over here. I'll wait to Cynthia. Excuse me. Oh, is that a Pokedex? You must be helping Professor Rowan. What's your name? Okay, hello, Sharpino. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you. <coughs> oh. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately, just out of curiosity. Here in Eternal City, there is a statue of an ancient Pokemon. According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows, you may encounter something like it when you're traveling with your Pokedex. Try seeing this, it should help you on your way. HN01. So that is for Cut. Remember, the hidden move Cut can be used in the field. It will let you go places where you previously, where, that were previously inaccessible to you. That's important feeling of your Pokedex, right? Then luck be with you, on young trainer. I don't need luck. I'm a good trainer. I don't need luck. Alright, so let's go ahead. Let's head over. There's an item up there, but we can't reach because we need to cut. So, um, let's head over to the right over here. We do have Route 211. We do have ourselves an opportunity to get an encounter. So, let's see what these items are here. Oh, here we go. Encounter is. Please be good. Hey, Laron! Hey, I can dig that. I can dig that. Lair on? Yo! Lair on! Yes, 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 yes. I can definitely handle a Lair on. Lair on! Lair on! Leroy! Leroy! Take that! Lair on is a terrific Pokemon by any means. It's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. So let's go ahead and get. A, we'll try a Pokeball. We'll try a Pokeball. It is a Leron. It is level 12. It's a sleep. It's in the green. Let's see how we go with those stats. One. And it kicks down. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's a sleep. Alright. So, I'm going to go ahead and go for a Magical Leap. I'm really hoping that's not going to kill. So, I'm going to go ahead and go for a Magical Leap. I'm pretty sure it shouldn't. It's a Clefairy. I don't think it should kill a Leron. I'll be very surprised if it does. But, uh, let's go for a Magical Leap here. And look at that. Let's even do half. Let's even do half. I'm going to see Harden kick into gear right now. Oh boy, is that going to be good. So we're going to go ahead and go for a sweet kiss on this uh, lair on here. Now this defense is up. We'll try to get the hits off once, put to sleep, and then we'll try again with the Pokeballs. So lair on is confused. Do the hits of the confusion? It does. <laughs> Bitch. Alright, now you're going to go back to sleep with my beautiful lullaby. La 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 la! And then sleep. I sleep out of just trying not to listen to it. <laughs> Alright, so now the Laron is asleep and now it's in the yellow. It's in the 
yellow. In the old yellow. Let's go ahead and throw another Pokeball at the Lair on that is asleep down for the count. Wow, does he even want to shake? Does it even want to shake? Well, Laron, you buddy are being very, very difficult to deal with here. And I tell you what, I am in no mood for that bullshit. Alright, so let's try this again. One, two, three. Yay! We got it! Laron! Woohoo! Let's go! We got ourselves a Laron. Alright. I love me some Laron. Laron, 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 Laron. Laron, the Iron Armor Pokemon. For food, it digs up iron ore. It smashes its steel body against others to fight over territory. Well, how territorial of you, I guess. I can't really... Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, did I have an Aeron in the last let's play? I'm trying to remember. When was the last time I had an Aeron, a Laron, or an Aggron? Because really, I do love Aggron. It, um, I don't know. Like It's, it's basically like Rhyperia, but it's steel. Rock steel. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why this has come to my head, and you guys are probably gonna laugh at my name for this. It's hard rock. <laughs> hard rock. Everyone. Yeah. Rock and roll. <laughs> All right. So. We found ourselves an ice here. That was the hidden item. Why are these hidden items sucky though? What the fuck? You stupid game. So we have ourselves another layer on. Another layer on just going, hey buddy. What up, buddy? What up? And I'm like, hey, I already called one of you. Thanks for coming. See you next time. Alright, so. We're gonna keep on going through here. Another Drifling. Drifling reappears. They really wanted to catch this Drifling. Well, buddy, if you really wanted to be the Drifling, you should have been that Fero. Oh, sorry, you should have been that that Drifloon. What a freaking. Okay, I can't escape from this. Let me go, Drifling. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. You're just a freaking balloon. What are you gonna do to me? You're just a god digging a darn balloon. Let me go. Let my Pokemon go. So we can battle trainers and let my Pokemon go. Thank you. Hey, it's not work. <laughs> but I thought I'd go back to the, the city here just to make sure that there are not any better Pokeballs that we can grab. Because if we can in fact get some better Pokeballs, just in case we do run into a pretty powerful Pokemon. Which I do know that once I get inside this freaking Pokemon, um, just in case we do run into a legendary, we have some better Pokeballs. But we only still have Pokeballs, so that just fucking sucks. Why? Uh, super potions? Yeah, we still have five. We'll go five more. And I would use five super potions, and then I would use five super more. Just to... <laughs> Why am I in such a singing mood today? I would never know. I do apologize for this. Really, it's not like me to be so single, like being on the karaoke, but I don't know. I don't know, I'm just in a good mood. I don't know, maybe it's just from being wet. I don't know, it's just brought out the voice in me. I don't know, okay? I'm just a guy from Australia. I like playing Pokemon. Deal with it. Alright, and we have ourselves a combi. A mere combi. The combi. The combi. As they would say. What was wrong with the combi? But, um, that's a male, and that reminds me of my Safari Law, when that was my starter. A male combi. That was so bad. I was like, what the fuck? And funnily enough, I thought it was going to be the first Pokemon to get eliminated, and sure enough, it wasn't. It wasn't. And I was just like, huh? Huh? But hey, I'm going to complain about that. Alright, so let's go ahead now. Ah, look away, bus. Look away, Buster. Look the other way. There you go. Alright. Let's head into the cave over here. We're going to get ourselves a Mount Coronet encounter. So let's go ahead and get ourselves an encounter in a Mount Coronet encounter. Is... Oh. Oh. Why? Why am I getting dirt shit encounters? What the fuck? I want to kill it. I don't even fuck. I want to kill it. It's a fucking plus law. What the fuck? I'll bet you any money there are better encounters in here than a fucking 
Puzzle! Piece of shit! God damn it! Why am I getting dicked right now? Huh? What have I done to deserve to get dicked? Hmm? Seriously? It's like, fuck you! Fuck you! Fucking puzzle. God damn it. Uh, it's just got it's just it's just just spiral. Okay, plus all the cheering Pokemon. It cheers on friends with pom poms made of sparks. It drains power from telephone poms. Well, isn't that interesting? Alright, let's go ahead and get a nickname for this plus all female. I <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think I think I think this is appropriate. I think I think this is appropriate. I think this is appropriate. I think she fits description. Just because I can't call it that. Why not? Before the sense of bar comes and goes, no, you can't call it that. That's that's offensive. Look at that! I could have had an imp first! Ah! Oh, fuck you! Ah! Oh, I could have had an imp for us! Oh. And what did I tell you? As soon as I saw that frickin' I knew those other encounters that would be better. I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! There were better encounters. And what do you know? Here it is, in the flesh, a fucking Emperor's. That's fucking stupid. That's fucking stupid. Alright. I'm really Salt Lake City right now, but come the fuck on. You know as well as I do that that was some hardcore bullshit. That was some hardcore bullshit. Man, like, man, I want some good encounters and you give me a fucking plusle over an Ambrose? Really? You fucking game? God damn. <sighs> so Archer's Lawrence has an Alteria. Well, isn't that lovely? An Alteria. Level 21, okay, we need to talk right now, what the fuck? Why is there level 21 here? Why is there level 21 here? I'm only fucking 18 over here, and we got level 21s over here. <laughs> ah, what the fuck? Fucking Altaria, you bitch, what's going on here? But I feel like this might be the time I might have to go ahead and do another grinding montage here, and ah, uh, just... <laughs> Ah. I'm just gonna go for a thunder wave and just do everything I can to try to fuck with this Altaria because this Altaria can try to fuck me real hard with fucking uh, just no uh, uh. seriously this game is really trying to dick me right here. The stars were shit and some of my encounters are pretty shit. Look at my team, that was good enough to tell you. Uh. Uh. I don't know, I don't appreciate it, but I, look, I can appreciate that I have encounters, but come on. When you're playing a randomizer, you want to have the opportunity to go ahead and use Pokemon you would never use before, that are good. That are good. This is not good. Giving me Plusle and fucking Theros are terrible. And whoever thought that was a smart idea, you should go to hell. In this case, that's a randomizer, the randomizer, fuck you. Alright, so we're going ahead and doing the work against this Altaria with our, our little Duskull over here. Putting the putting the finest of work against this Altaria. Hurts up the confusion. <laughs> oh, bitch. But I really do feel like we're going to have to go ahead and do ourselves a big growing montage because if this is just a trainer outside of Eternity, I can only imagine what kind of uh, levels we'll be looking at inside the gym. Well, Curse now level 19, which is awesome. Great. But I think we might need to buff up our Pokemon to either level 23 or 25. I know 25 sounds a little bit excessive, but we'll just see. So, this is TM86 Grass Knot. I think that's the exact same thing as what it was before. I'm pretty sure the TMs are going to be just the same. I might just versus try off screen here. So, there we go. Dodge! Dodge! Dodge the trainer like a, like a ninja! Nimble dogs. Drowsy! Hey! I was using your sweet version in sweet version 2, you know, the hip run. Dicky with the hip run. You were awesome, man. Drowsy and Hypno, you were awesome as orange types. Like, holy crap. 
and let me tell you. And if we get a fishing rod, we can actually go ahead and fish for an encounter. Actually, hold on! You can get the fishing rod from all the way back in Jubilife, but I didn't get it. Oh! I'm gonna actually do that while we're off screen, because really, we can get ourselves another encounter. Why the fuck not? Why the fuck not, eh? Why the fuck not? So we'll go ahead and we'll get that encounter down in Jubilife onto um, Ironworks City, whatever the fuck it is. We'll get that when we get there. But for now, uh, yeah, if we can go back at the, the old fishing rod and come back, that would be awesome. That would be terrific. Actually, it would be. So let's go ahead now, let's head to the train, let's head to the gym, and let's just scout. Let's just see what kind of levels that we're going to get to expect. Wait, before we do that, before we do that, I did say that I'm in the right hand, top right hand corner. I don't think I missed it. I saw it. And that is going to be a smoke ball, which is shit. Why the hell would you give me a smoke ball? I'm not a ninja. Speaking of ninjas, you know, smoke balls. You know? All right. At my gym, no one gets to battle with the gym leader, me, until they've beaten all the other trainers. I'll be waiting for you in the back. Good luck, trainer. Okay. So, little lady, where's the first trainer? Okay, now we're just trying to figure out where it is. Is it you? I can't see anything. Where's the first trainer? Oh, there she is, right there. I can see a fat head. <laughs> what up, girl? How'd you find me? You have a fat head! That's how I found you. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and see what levels we're going to be dealing with with just the trainer. So, first off is a Poochiana. Poochiana. Level 17. Okay, so as far as the levels go, we still seem to be on par with the levels. So, that's fine, I suppose. As far as getting things done, I guess that's not the worst thing to happen. Bite's gonna come through from a pooch, from a big bad little girl bitch pooch. Just like our bitch puzzle. But, <laughs> but yeah. Not too bad. So down goes the pooch. The pooch is down. Call the pound. The pooch is out. The pooch is out. And electrite. Well, that's just perfect because we got volt absorbs. So any type of electric attack this electrite wants to do to us, we'll just absorb it. We'll become like cell. Absorb the electricity. Even though we're not absorbing androids, we're absorbing, you know, electrics. <laughs> electric type attacks. So what we're going to come through is going to do a good heap of damage right there. Now Electric, oh it's a speed type, okay that's cool. Okay, so basically, uh, I roll. <laughs> Take that, bitch! And Electrox is now level 19, okay. Entrepreneur Antoinette is defeated. So, looking good guys, looking good. Okay, the next trainer is at the end, past the two boulders, I think. So that would mean she's at the very end to the right. No, she's down here. All oh, these fat heads, you can you can just see them peering over the trees. Oh, voila. <laughs> Two boulders and voila. My grass type Pokemon can dole out some serious special attacks. I won't let you win easily. Ah, so you will let me win just not easily. Ooh, I like the challenge. Alright, so we've got a uh, hippie girl over here, Gymnast Joe has a Nidoran female. Luckily, Nidoran female doesn't get any access to any grass type moves that I need to be aware of. So let's just keep going for some water gun attacks, which should do some decent damage to this uh, Nidoran female. Get that tail clip action going. The defense is down! We go for another water gun, and that should be the end of this Nidoran female. Yeah, boy. Wow, it's not. Oh, well, fuck me. Okay, poison thing's gonna come through here. Don't poison me. God damn it. Why? Ah! Why does the game do this to me? Every single time someone does one poison type move, the second it lands, it does the damage and poisons me. I'm like, what the fuck? Whoa. <laughs> Electric. Why? You gotta be a dick. Why you gotta be a dick? Why you gotta be a dick? Oh, hello, Kyogre! 
Oh, snap! Okay. History lesson for you guys. Every time I face a Kyogre, someone dies. That's not just me being pretentious. That's just something that always happens. Because Kyogre is a bitch. Kyogre likes to fuck people with drizzles. So we're gonna bring in Fairy Cake. Let's see what this, let's see what this drizzle is gonna go for a drizzle boost of water piles. That's gonna hurt like a bitch. That's gonna fucking hurt. Watch this, watch this. Oh my god. That does half. That does way over half. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh no. And more like he has speed. What can I do? There is nothing on my team that wants to handle this right now. Except maybe the, the Chin Chow. But it's fucking poison and damage and I can't really do anything. Oh! This is bad. This is fucking bad. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to sing it to sleep. Kyogre has speed. Kyogre has water pops. Is going to die? It lives! No, do not do this to me. Fairy cake! Fairy cake! Come on! <gasps> ah! Fuck you, Kyogre! Fuck! Kyogre, you can't! Fuck! <laughs> As per the rules of the Waylock, here we go again. Here we fucking go again, eh? Here we fucking go. Really? Give it a minute, so I think we'll just continue playing while we're waiting for this to fucking kick in. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in Cursed right here, while we're waiting for the stupid thing to- Oh yeah, it's the fucking- yeah. I think this is it. I think this is it. Confused around this this freaking bitch while we fucking trying to wait for this fucking wet head to come through here. Now I want to go for fucking a stupid move because it kills my fucking Pokemon. So that's fucking great. Ugh. I don't know why this is having such a delayed effect. I don't understand what the fuck the point of this game is. You know, you're supposed to like gush out like right away here. You know, that that's the whole point of the game here. But anyways. Alright, so it's confused. Let's go for a nice shade on this fucking Kyogre. Goes for scary face again. Okay? Great. As long as you don't go for fucking uh, water pulse, I'm fine with that. Because I'm pretty sure it will blow away my dust gold. At this point in the game, I'm pretty sure it will blow my dust gold away. But I'm so sad we lost Fairy Cake though. I'm very, I'm really upset about that. I'm really upset about that. Can you hear some confusion, please? That'd be great. Thank you. Fuck dead. That would make up for the fact that a fucking Cle Clefairy killed itself in confusion. <sighs> Seriously, a lot of fucking bullshit. It's a fucking lot of bullshit. As I'm seeing here, waiting for this fucking wet head to trigger. Like, I don't understand. Like, it, it snaps out of confusion now. It's just dripping water. Like, I don't I keep it on. We got rid of the Kyogre, which is fantastic, but I don't understand. Like, I don't get it. I just don't get it. Also keep it on like this so all the water can come out. But we got ourselves a Charmander over here. Let's go for a nice shade of the Charmander. As it goes for an Ember. That's very little damage. I 
with another mache. I'll get that in there. See what happens if I put the pin back in. Simple. Does it stop dripping? What is this? Seriously, this thing has to be broken. This thing has to be broken because it just... This thing doesn't make sense. Like, it was working before. I had it working before. And now all of a sudden it just doesn't want to work. Does not want to work, and I don't know why. <gasps> no! You fucking cunt! Are you serious? What the fuck? You have dragon rage! And you killed my starter with that! Oh! <laughs> oh, I am so triggered right now. I am so fucking triggered right now. Oh my fucking god. Why do you have Dragon Rage? Is this the one that fucking pulls it? Where the fuck it is? Where is it? Come on, where is the fucking thing? Oh yeah, here he comes. Come on, get this fucking thing over with. Seriously, I'm so... I am really over this episode. I am really over this episode. Honestly, is there even any water left in this fucking thing? No, there's plenty of water in this. So I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I'm just gonna do it until I fucking... Where's the fucking gush? Huh? Where's the gush? I'm waiting for the... Oh, wait, here it is. So as it turns out, the one I pulled was not in fact the real one, but it was just dripping. This is the fucking pin for the wet head. I love when things work out, don't you? You just gotta love when these things work out here. This is like meltdown sharp right now. Oh my god. Okay. Let's just try to finish off this episode. Pretty saturated. Let's just finish off this fucking episode. This piece of shit fucking Charmander had fucking Dragon Rage! I am so fucking mad right now. I am so fucking mad right now. You have no idea. He had Dragon Rage! Of all the fucking things to have, he had Dragon Rage! Seriously, this would be classed as seriously a meltdown for me. This, for me, is a meltdown. I am literally getting saturated and I'm melting down. That's pretty much how I would describe this right now. So guys, that's going to be the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the giant meltdown of an episode. Holy fuck, I am pissed off right now. Clefairy's dead, and my fucking starter's dead! Until next time I see you guys, stay safe, stay sharp, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Later.